Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying for Beginners. Today we're going to tie a hen and hair wet fly. It's going to be a soft hackle and the hook I have in the vise is a size 14 2 extra long wet fly nymph hook. I'm going to use brown thread and this brown thread is 70 denier. We're going to put a base of thread down and start behind the eye and bring it back to where it would hang at the barb of the hook. Wet flies are good flies in the fall when uh, the water cools off and the water is still low. The fish don't have a lot of water to, to uh, navigate through and flies in that middle column will be taken pretty readily by the trout. I'm going to start out with a bit of a rib there. I'm going to use a piece of pearl crystal flash. And the reason for the crystal flash, crystal flash is a lot thinner than the uh, tinsel. So a, a fly this size or smaller you use tinsel even a size 16 or 18 that tinsel is going to be pretty big now for the body I'm going to use a light hairs ear and we want to put this on pretty thin especially in the on the front and on the back don't worry you could always add more if you get it too thin so go very skin go very skinny with it sometimes or a lot of times when you're using hairs here it's good to to wax the thread first to stay uh 100% beeswax is great for it A lot of caddis in the fall and this is a good pattern for imitating them in the middle water column like a pupa or a diving caddis we're going to wrap this forward I'm gonna put just a tad more on there like I said you could always add a little bit more Always very small amounts. And we're going to stop that at about one eye length from the eye of the hook. And we're going to take our rib and we're going to palmer that forward. Make that tight. This, this crystal flash will pull, so don't pull too tight. Or you could actually break it. But it will give that little bit of flash in there. Kind of look like an air bubble surrounding the body you can see how when I pulled it this is what it looked like and we'll go ahead and get rid of that excess now for the hackle I have a hand hackle this is a saddle hackle and the curve is towards you I'm gonna first pull the all of the fluff off And I'm going to pull off a little bit more of that off the bottom. Now I'm going to remove all of the hackle from the top. It just, uh, if you use both sides, you would get, uh, you get too thick of a hackle there. So now we have that except for the tip. I'm going to grab a hold of that tip and pull the rest of that back. We're going to tie that on with the curved side, the concave side towards the hook. And we're going to remove that excess. And now you got to be careful because now you uh, took so much off the so much material off that stem that it could have a 
tendency to break. And we're going to go ahead and wrap that. I'm just touching it as I go to kind of help separate those hackle fibers. And we're going to put one wrap in front of the other. There we go. We're going to tie that off. You can fold that hackle stem back and tie that once again. And then you can break it off very easily. Now we're just going to have to form the head. There we go, we got them sweeping back nicely. Now I'm going to take my whip finish. Give that a three or four turn whip finish. Trim that off. I'm going to put a little bit of head cement on there. Clean my brush off pretty good. Now, if you found that you have a little bit too much, you could go ahead and just take out single strands just by connecting your hackle pliers to it. You want a pretty sparse uh, hackle there. And here we have a hen and hair soft hackle wet fly. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Leave comments, questions, suggestions, and most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.